all right you guys i'm back um my last video took over an hour to upload i don't know what's up with that so anyway and but i posted the video of that planet thing that's right by the sun and it made me think about how i had that vision of a big sun little sun but this thing is right by the sun this planet thing so i have great close-up video of it if you haven't seen it already I'm going to go ahead and do this dream because I had notes ever since a couple of days ago. So, you guys, I was in this neighborhood called Cane Break. That's this a neighborhood that I um, was in most of my younger years. I grew up in an apartment complex. And I went outside and almost kind of to the left of me, it looked like a window of heaven had opened up. And I could see these stars they seem to come out of nowhere in this little window and form in three, three, uh, three sets of five or six or seven, like, like bam, bam, bam. And then outside of that window, it would almost seem as if this planet came from outside of this window, but it didn't. The window was on the left with the three sets of perhaps six, you guys. I was thinking maybe it was six, six, six. Who knows? But I can't remember the the the, uh, the number of the stars. And they just all came together in kind of like a formation, kind of like a six-pack formation almost. And, and more uh, above me was this huge planet you guys this huge planet at first i thought it was jupiter because it looked like jupiter it had the colors like that 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 clay red but then i had a knowing in the dream that we were about to be affected by the by the belt or the ring of saturn so it was kind of like it was Jupiter, but then it had the ring of Saturn. And in the dream, we were going to be affected by the belt or the ring of it, whatever it was, the, the debris or whatever. And this thing was so humongous. And I knew that it was, it, it was coming down and it was supposed to be like passing us. And it was so close, you guys, that I was like this. I literally, in the dream had to lay down on my back for this thing not to touch me and it seemed like I went on about my business and was going just down the road like to another uh, town or city but in the dream this planet had come down and it was supposed to be affecting our atmosphere for 24 hours because of the, the belt or the ring of Saturn. So anyway, I want to thank um, Anna for uh, sending me a link to a UFO video. I'm going to post it below. Um, kind of how the stars form, uh, were in formation in that window of heaven. I just really felt like the, the a window of heaven had opened up. And I was able to see these stars like kind of like get in formation in three sets um so i'm going to link that video below in the last couple of days i did see a video on the wandering stars um and it was showing how the different planets look like uh, but they had them in like a six pack um they had them in like a six pack so maybe if i can find that video i'll also link that below but I was doing some research and uh, Sherry mentioned the fact that when it comes to Orion's belt, there was a theory, those people that, these people that worship uh, stars and what have you, uh, there was a, a, a theory that uh, when Orion's belt was visible or whatever, that there was a, a window of heaven that was open. I haven't researched it, so I don't know um, what's behind that, but as far as Saturn and Jupiter, um, we know that Saturn worship takes place. It's also linked to the cube, the black cube of Mecca, 
um, the pictures of Saturn shows a counterclockwise type thing. And this planet was coming down like counterclockwise. But there's a, a what the pictures that they've given us, there's a counterclockwise rotation on it. And uh, that's what they do in Mecca. I think they go around the black cube in a counterclockwise uh, uh, walk around the cube. Um, also, <clears throat> Jupiter is the son of Saturn. It's called the son of Saturn. And Saturn is called the father of Jupiter. Um, so I believe that's why the two were like one almost in my dream. Or I thought they were like two and one. Um, Jupiter having, uh, me seeing Jupiter, but it having this, the ring of Saturn. Um, also, uh, Jupiter is called Zeus, and Jupiter is also called the bright and wandering star. Um, Barnabas in the Bible was identified or likened to Zeus or Jupiter because, because of his commanding presence. And that's in Acts 14, 12. Um, let's see. Jude one thirteen talks about the wandering stars, and I think the judgment basically of the wandering stars. But uh, commentaries, commentaries talk about it being well, not commentaries because in context it 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 uh, is talking about false teachers and bolsterous teachers. Um, so I kind of stayed away from that. I don't want to talk about scripture out of context. But Jude does mention the water, wandering stars. And he does talk about other elements of the earth. You can look it up if you want to. Uh, Jude one thirteen. But um, in my research, I came across Enoch. The book of Enoch. Um, in Enoch 1 and Enoch chap, uh, chapter 18, it talked about a prison for the stars and um, and a host for heaven. It talked about the him seeing the seven stars, which we believe are the planets. I've come across some research about the... So let me just go ahead and tell you. The seven stars, like great burning mountains. Um, and... So I came across some research, and basically... The planets are described as being wandering stars not the stars that are described as angels in the book of revelation but these planets are described as being wandering stars and there's a theme of seven so uh people say there were what nine planets and then um pluto was uh taken out of the category so that leaves eight if you take earth out of being a planet that leaves seven and um so Enoch talked about the seven uh, stones of fire, great burning mountains. Um, I think when it came to a judge to judgment of the these wandering stars or planets. Um, also, scientists believe that these planets house aliens. Y'all, that's a whole another thing. That's probably why they worship them as gods. And uh, the the fallen angels, if you want to liken them to the fallen angels or wandering stars, uh, the fallen angels or the giants or the Nephilim came from the unrighteous branch of Cain. Or they, you know, the, the fallen angels married the unrighteous daughters of Cain. And I think this, why, this is why this took place in... Uh, the uh, in the neighborhood that it took place in Cane Break. So I thought that was interesting. If you have any comments, leave them below. I'm gonna leave that video of um, what Anna shared. It was really interesting. And the first part it shows a little uh, what they believe is a radioactive small uh, UFO. And then on the second part, it shows a video of a guy having nine uh, having um. At 9 o'clock in the morning, filming like a cluster of uh, aliens. And it also shows this one star 
that they believe is like the captain of these stars or, or, or uh, wandering stars or, or whatever. It just went all the way across the pack of them. And that's what I filmed the other day, you guys. So I'm going to link it below. You guys can have a better picture of what I saw. He took this uh, video in the daytime. And um, I want to keep this video short. The Lord, um, I did have a dream or something. And then, y'all, the Lord is so funny. So maybe I'll make a short video of that and come back later. Okay? God bless y'all.